Howdy ho, Nibrinos. This is the team builder and battle, team builder portion, of course, for the uh, APA week, whatever it is, dude. I know we're going up against Trog, and uh, he has a scary team, but we've made some transactions. Um, we no longer have Flapple. We have this this big old Appleton here. We dropped... Uh... What the fuck did we drop, dude? We dropped Dougie and something else for uh, Lucario and Arctozolt. I forgot what it was that I dropped, so I'll probably have that annotation on the screen or something, but basically, we got a different team now. We're playing against another fucking Corviknight, so we gotta do that shit again, and I don't I don't wanna lose again, but it's looking likely, so uh, we gotta play here in like two minutes. So, just quickly, we have this thick boy here, Spideff, with uh, some moves to kinda just be able to chip things down. We have our uh, Dracovish answer here with the max defense Rocky Helmet. Uh, Blast always with the Brick Break in case he does bring the, uh, what's it called? The Veil. Then we have Lucario here who is just really good, pretty late game versus him. Like, I can kind of just click buttons and shit. Then we have a Scarf, uh, Scarf Kirim here with, uh, with Hail, which is fun for our last Mon there if he doesn't bring the Hail himself. Then, uh, just pretty standard Slazzle with standard Slazzle things. And Slush Rush Life Orb fucking mixed Arctozolt here, which is looking like a fucking, just, mm. You know, so hopefully we can do some work with that if he brings the hail or if we can get it up ourselves. So um, I'll see you guys in the battle. Alrighty, here we are with the battle. As you can see, he's brought those mons and you see what we've brought here. Um, so he leaves behind like Veil, uh, Sock, fucking Gardevoir. So close to what I was expecting, but not exactly. Uh, of course, he's bringing the G-Max Gengar. So let's see, what did he do? <laughs> He might just lead with fucking, uh, with like Dracovish or something. I think I'm gonna just lead Scarf Kirim. He doesn't deal with this too well. So I'm gonna try to do my best and, uh, kill some shit as soon as possible, you know? Um, I can get this out of here. Make sure OBS doesn't crash. Per use, you know this by now. Um, I'm doing Lifecom again. I'm feeling it. And that doesn't mean I'm doing good. In fact, I'm doing the opposite of good. But, um,. Honestly, dude, I just got tired of fucking doing the battle and then having to re-record it and edit it and shit. So, um, we're just doing the thing. Now, one mistake I did make was um, day drinking. So, this will be fun. Okay. Shout outs to the black screen, you know. It's a long black screen. There it is. Lucina. That is the Incineroar. So we do see the Intimidate. Oh shit, my shit didn't import as level 100, that isn't, or as level 50, that sucks. So, um, he can knock us off here, but Earth Power is a Tuco. Uh, his switch into Earth Power is non-existent. Actually, I guess he does have a Corviknight right there, but oh well. Let's click Earth Power. If he goes hard Corby, that is unfortunate. But, it, dude, okay, if he goes hard Corviknight, I think we have to go hard Arctozolt. Okay, so that boy's Assault Vest as hell. He's probably going to knock us off here. He goes for the CC. Okay, that did a chomp, dude. Oof. Does that kill now that he's a uh, minus one? The Earth Power did. Nah, dude, there's no way that kills. Okay, so we gotta switch out here. We gotta go into the Blastoise, which sucks because we're gonna take damage, but maybe he'll just go for a U turn or some shit. Now, if he goes into Bolton, we're gonna have a small problem, but we have Appleton. Or, yeah, Appleton. See what he goes for here. He withdraws. So, the way that he withdrew, he goes into the Corviknight. Okay. 
That's funny that that's the name too. So it's at about 70-ish. And it's AV as fuck. And it has CC. So he's in with Coronite. His skull switch ends do not exist. So if I can burn this dude, I will burn it right now. So if he was... Okay, dude, he's like... He's like a lot of stuff. Okay, so he's got. Yeah, Skull did Jack Diddley dick. However, that's kind of to be expected, right? Nothing on his team wants to take a Skull right now. That's just. That's just how it be, you know? He could just go into Gengar, but I don't know why he would. He can also just U-turn out. Brave Birdos, I don't know what he wants to fucking do. <laughs> Let's find out together. He does U-turn out. That's great. Damage on that is amazing. I imagine he goes Gengar on this, right? Gengar and uh, force me to sack, <laughs> pretty much. The thing is, though, um, Lucario doesn't look great. So he was at about 80, and he took, oh, what is the helmet? Fucking 16%. So he's at like, no, oh, he's at like 65 ish, I'd say. He does go into the big fish. Okay, so we're built to deal with this. Can we get a burn? Let me burn this boy. Let me burn this boy. Fuck. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. So he has the uh, Dracovish. I'm going to pray that he's Scarf and not Banded. So Fishy Boy Rand is going to two-shot us, most likely. But Body Press is doing a pretty decent chunk. If he's Banded, though, we're, it's definitely a two-shot. <laughs> Okay, I finished my drink, so that's done. <laughs> he was for crunch. Is that the most damage he can do to me? Fishy boy Rim did more. That's cool with me though. Maybe he was expecting me to go into uh, Appleton or some shit. I think I just click body press again. Or I can save this, considering I kind of do need this for Mudsdale. No. I have, I have the apple, right? So I just go for body press again. I don't want to take damage on my apple if I don't have to. This is here for this. So you're at like, fucking right above 50, which is amazing. He can go into his... No, he just clicks the button. Tailwind, Peter's out. So, if he does want to keep this alive, he dies to Rocky Helmet, right? So, I just go for Scald. Just in case he does want to go Gengar or something. Watch him go for a move that's like not contact. Like he's got like a random fucking... I don't even know what it would be, but... That would be a bad play. On me. He does withdraw Mr. Bish. He's keeping that boy around. Will Arnett. <gasps> oh, buddy. That looks like a fucking spit f ass horse, too. Okay, we fucking take that damage, dude. We take that all day. Um, 
It looks like he's got a little bit of spadef. Yeah, I'm clicking Scald again. He can get up rocks if he wants, but I'm going to go for... Uh, I'll just spin him away, you know? And if I burn him here, that's huge. It means that's not a lot of damage he's doing to me. Um, yeah, man. Sorry, I got a spit cup now. <laughs> I don't dip or anything. I just... Uh, Please burn. Dude, come on. We've scalded and we haven't got any burns. Let me get a burn. Uh, unless stamina goes before burn. He goes for the toxic. Um, dude, that's a... This is a pretty good trade for me, like TBH. His removal would have to be Corviknight, too. He only showed U-turn, right? Yeah, it was Corviknight, because he took the... Uh... What's going to now? There's the Corviknight, okay. Let me get this burn, though, dog. There it is. Okay, finally we got the burn. Okay, cool. So, if he has, like, body press or something, that could still potentially be an issue. I am going to keep this boy around because anytime the fucking fish comes in, I just sack this off. I can also spin versus said fish, maybe even Incineroar. Um, so we'll save that. What's he, what's he at? He's got a roost here, right? He's got a roost here. I'm going hard into the Rona, dude. We're going hard Rona. It's Rona versus Rona. <laughs> He's got the Corvid. I got the Rona. <laughs> oh, man. What a time we're living in, you know? What a time we're living in. <laughs> I think he just has to go for a roost here, TBH. And if he goes Mudsdale, I'll kill with Ice Beam the next turn. He does go for the Brave Bird. That's resisted. He's burned. So if he outspeeds me, that is an issue. But I have a bunch of speed on this. And that looked like he was spadef as fuck. I'm clicking Bolt Beak. Yeah, because Mudsdale dies the next turn anyways. Please let me be faster. Please. Mudsdale's at like 15%. Vish is at like 10. Incineroar is at 70. Corviknight's at half. Gengar's still scary as fuck, though. He withdraws. Let's do. Yep. Okay, that's fine, though. So I just go for the... Yeah, I just go for the Ice Beam here. I just click Ice Beam. That's all I have to do. He's Yachi. <laughs> okay, so... Octopus kills the horse. The crit mattered for sure. So now he gets to... Now he does not get hazards up. For sure. Blastoise is at like 40-ish, I think. Giram did take a big old chunk and funk. For real. I just realized I don't have Brock on this team, which is unfortunate. <laughs> you know? So he has to go Gengar here, I think. I think he goes Gengar, Lucina, and Cineroar. Okay, so this boy is definitely... He's AV as hell, right?
I just go into moist. This boy is toxic. He can no longer. He no longer has any. Words are tough. He no longer has any hazards for me to want to spin away. So if I can chip this thing down and potentially put it in range of uh, like earth power and stuff, that would be amazing. So he might just click CC here, which would probably drop me. Flare Blitz. Oh, we take that. Oh, dude, we take that shit. Maybe not after poison, but we take the, the chip that it gives us straight up. The Blastoise dies to the Toxic. I forgot what he toxic us with, so I'll have to fucking refigure that shit out. I can go Lucario right here. This potentially baits in Corviknight, right? Which isn't terrible. Because then I can just go right back into the Arctivish. So I just click CC here. If he goes Gengar, good on him. However, I'm hoping he doesn't. So we just click CC. He goes into Corviknight. You taking two? You taking two after burn? You're not taking one, dude. Lucario kills the Corviknight. That is so good, dude. Um, Look at his team and look at Scarf Earth Power now. He's got Dracovish at fucking 10%, Boltoned, uh, G-Max Gengar, and Incineroar, which does need a little bit more chip to be in range. This is looking doable. I'm so fucking terrified right now. This is looking doable. So I've shown CC and my Forb. Holy shit. Scarf Earth Power is looking so good right now. If he goes... Anything but Gengar, I go into Appleton. If he goes Gengar, I have to stay in and sack this and probably just click Bullet Punch. And then bring in Salazzle. Sven? What is that? That's Bolton. Okay. Whatever he wants to click here, that's fine. I go out into my Spadef Apple. If he goes for like... If I had to guess, he would click like... Psychic Fangs, maybe? Maybe Fire Fang? Or maybe he just hard go for the electric move. I don't know. Maybe even Volt Switch, you know? If he does go for Volt Switch, uh, it probably lets him bring in Gengar, which is fine because I can uh, I can stall that thing out. Max Guard. Thunderfang. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Hold on. I'm scared, dude. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Appleton G-Max versus Bolton. I don't want to unnecessarily take damage. And Max Quake has a large chance to kill this. Uh, not a large chance, but a good enough chance. I clicked regular Earthquake. Fuck. If he ice fangs me now, that's gonna do a lot. He withdrew. Dude, what? He gave me damage off on G Max Gengar? I am so fucking confused as to what is going on right now, dude. I live any hit he wants to go for. And I, I, I go for the max quake. Yeah, straight up, dude. I have to I have to do that thing. So he's going to get big. He'll hit me with a super effective fucking poison type attack. And I'm talking so fast because I'm nervous as fuck. Oh my god. Max 
Max Ooze is not... Dude, I'm Spadef. Max Ooze is doing nothing. Is he gonna go for Max Guard? And remember, if worse comes to worse and we can't... Well, no, Scarf, Scarf Earth Power is looking way too good for me to waste uh, a turn clicking hail for my fucking Arc result. But, yeah, he goes for the Max Ooze. That's only 95 base power. I eat this. Dude. Max Quake. Does this give me a Spadef or a Spatak boost? I mean, a Spadef or a defense boost? I think Steel Spike is the defense boost, so this should give me a, uh, yeah. So... Appleton kills Gengar. What do you even go into now? What do you even go into now? Uh, Arcto, uh, Dracovish and Click Ice Fang? I'm thick fat. I'd live that. Bars. Um, he's doing fucking not a lot to me with this Ice Fang here. Oh, Outrage does a lot, though. But I should live. Potentially. And I just click Max Knuckle, honestly, and I get a little boosty boost. Yep, there's the Outrage. Oh, I die. Okay, so he's, like, probably at it. Oh, it's a crit. Fuck me. Okay. Dragovich goes Appleton. Um, I guess I can go into this guy. No, I go into, yeah. We go into Big Kirim, and we click ourselves a nice, clean Earth Power. If he wants to switch out, that would be awesome. Bolton. So the question is, like, does he live this? He doesn't, right? I can't afford to. I can't afford for him to be Shuka, though. I have to go into. No, you know what? No, I'm an adult. Let's click fucking Earth Power. <laughs> He's Scarf. No. Okay, this could potentially be bad all of a sudden. <laughs> but we do have a Salazzle to go into. Oh, his time ran out. Awesome. I think we still won that. I don't know if there's anything he could lock himself, lock himself into late game. That would mean that I, uh, I lose, you know? I definitely should have saved Kirim. That was dumb. And I was going to go hard Salazzle and sack it, but then I was like, if he kills me anyways, then Salazzle just comes back in and uh, two it KOs the Incineroar on the switch. Which means he would be forced to lock himself into like Psychic Fangs to kill me, which I definitely live with uh, Arctozole. That boy's thick. So, damn dude, we got a fucking, we got our second win. Congratulations, me. Um, it's, it's a little bit rough. He went to timer, but... I think we had the the tools to make it happen, you know. So, um, holy fuck, man, that was uh that was insane. I'm so happy that everything that I needed it to put in work, and then I shouldn't have sacked my Kiron. But hey, dude, we take those, okay? So like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Thank fuck.
I am uh, able to win a second game. So, yay. Bye forever.